What up YouTube? PCAMS here giving us a little car review today on the RC 350 F Sport. This is a brand new model for Lexus. Came out in 2015. This model has the blue paint, which is metallic paint, and it looks pretty hot. Uh, the photo quality on this video doesn't really give it justice. When you see this in person, it really does come to life and sparkle, that beautiful metallic paint. And this model is also an F Sport. RC350, unlike the IS, there is no uh, 250 option. So this says the 306 horsepower V6. The F Sport package also comes with the 19 inch wheels, which are pretty sexy as well. And you get the F Sport badges. Get, I'll get a, a whole shot from the side here, I'll back it up. Coming across here to the front, got the F Sport grill, which is a honeycomb grill, as opposed to the non F Sport, which uh, doesn't really look as good. Uh, the difference between the IS and the RC here, as you can tell, is there's that chrome underlay here on the front bumper, which really pops. It looks really nice, especially with the blue. And you'll also notice that they dropped the LED check marks here a little bit lower. The IS it sits a little bit higher. Other than that, it is essentially a two door version of the critically acclaimed IS. We'll go ahead and step inside, turn her on. It's like 95 degrees out, so good to get in the AC. Now, uh, for 2015, they also allowed the F Sport to have air conditioned seats, which is very nice. There's the heads up display. This is the same speedometer as the LFA. You can move it over, cycle. You can, uh, if you've got your navigation, if you're actually going somewhere, it'll come up. The directions will come up there. For music, the same thing. It'll come up what station you're on or if you're plugged in Bluetooth or whatever. Also have paddle shifters. You can put it in manual mode, which you can shift with the, you put it in manual mode here, you can shift with the knob itself or with the paddle shifters. Um, backup camera, which comes in there. It actually moves with the steering wheel that yellow thing. I think it's kind of distracting personally, but it's, it's a, you know, to each their own. Blind spot monitors, um, Bluetooth audio command, and for 2015, they rearranged the, uh, the navigation control here. Now it's all a touchpad, kind of like using your phone, and you just, you know, if you want to plug in something, you hit push down it used to be a knob I didn't really like the knob because it tended to slip very easily but this gives you a lot more accuracy because it's your finger um, we've also got eco normal and sport and sport plus eco mode is gonna in you know it changes here as well you see eco and then sport sport plus Eco mode, uh, it's going to put a little bit less, you know, revs out before it shifts. Um, sport, you're going to get a little bit higher rev before it shifts and a little bit tighter suspension. And then Sport Plus does all of that plus more. Like plus, you know, higher rev shifting, stiffer suspension, and that's pretty fun to drive. And, uh... I'll go outside and give us a, a couple revs. We'll do it from the inside right now, just so you can hear it. I'll turn this air down in case it's too high. So we're just gonna rev it up. Pretty nice exhaust. Uh, I'll do another angle from the outside.
Coming around to the back, looking at some trunk space. It's pretty moderate. Nothing too crazy. You can fit a couple suitcases in there for sure. The uh, the rear seats do fold down for added space. Gonna head from the passenger side here. There's the the rear seats. You know, nothing too spacious, but you know, if you got a supermodel trying to carry around town. There's the lights on, kind of hard to see with the sun, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the RC 350F Sport. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click a like and comment down below if you want me to cover something I didn't. This was kind of just a, a basic t a tour, not really in-depth or anything like that, but I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you.